everyone, it's Chris, or RavenX on S2KI. Uh, I've ran into a recent issue with the T1R pulleys for the Honda S2000, uh, specifically my 2006. I have all of them, the, the crank, the water pulley, the alternator, and both the idler and tensioner pulleys. The, Id the idler and tensioner pulleys are the ones that have bearings in them, and for the, uh, the T1R, they're the typical ones to go out. And apparently it's happened to me too after about six months or so. At least I think that's about how long I've owned them. You know, six to six to twelve months. But I'll give you a, a video here on what they look like, how they look like running, and then I can show you what's wrong with the bearings when I pull the uh, pulleys off. So for those of you who don't know, here's the look of my car, how it looks on the outside. I know you've seen all my autocross videos, but I haven't done a uh, full shoot on my car. <laughs> So just to give you a look, you can get the light positioned correctly. So you got the crank pulley on the bottom, the water pump to the right, and then I don't know if you can see the alternator one. Yeah, those are fine. It's these two up here. Come on. Work with me, light. So we got the tensioner pulley right here, and then also the idler pulley down here. So those are the ones with the bearings on them that aren't working properly at the moment. So you can't really see the play in this one, it's a little tough. Sorry, I'm holding my GoPro on a tripod right now. Alright, we'll hold that steady. Bolt. Right, so here's what it comes off with. You have the is it left hand, right hand threaded bolt, basically the opposite of what a typical typical bolt is. You got the OEM shield or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, this is the tensioner pulley. And you, or at least when I replace this bearing in here, because it failed on me once before, um, you needed a press to put this one in. So, I mean, here I can press it out with my fingers. See, press it right back in. You should not be able to do that. So what was happening was when it was on there, uh, the bolt 
had the bearing on snugly, but as you can see on the on the back side, it ground into the uh, into the tensioner housing. So if, if you do see that mark, you know that the bearing or well, not necessarily a bearing because it, it's actually good. There's no play in the bearing. <clears throat> but let's see if I can uh, get a good lighting shot. to use the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that. There's some, uh, it's been, it's been worn on the inside. You can see how the purple anodized coating is disappearing. <laughs> this GoPro setup is not ideal. Pull it out into the light. You can see how it's worn on the inner edge. So I think from what little, uh, or probably not a tight tolerance gap on the inside, but it, it's the bearing probably worked itself out and made itself loose in this thing. That's my assumption. I don't know if it's correct, but I've had the bearing fail on me twice now, and I, I just ended up, I ordered new OEM uh, tensioner and idler fully on it. So on this one, you have the bolts, whatever protective cover, and then you have this washer that goes on the inside. That's just to help clamp it against the inner race so it can, it can spin freely. So you have, what is it, bolt, spacer, washer, the actual uh, idler pulley, and this one's held in by very, very tiny set screws, and then you have the uh, back spacer to help hold the, uh, the other part of the inner race so that it can spin freely with the belt. Uh, this one there is obviously, well there's not obviously, there is no play in it because it's held in by the set screws but it does still have kind of a slight wobble to it. Uh, you might not have seen it on the cold star but when it's it's good and warm it does have quite a bit of wobble. You might be able, there's some markings on here, I'm not quite sure what those are from. but uh, we'll go get some weight measurements now. All right, guys, back up here at the uh, dirty workbench, not too bad. Uh, I picked up a scale recently. I have a 200 gram, uh, whatever weight you wanna call them. I'm trying to think of the, uh, the correct term for that. Calibration weight, there we go. So it should be labeled at 200 grams. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe. <clears throat> Got the scale set to 200. Showing 198, so it's off by about two grams just to give you an idea of uh, a weight difference between these. So here we go. Uh, I'll put these over here. Okay, so we got the T1R pulleys here. You can tell by their purple color. This one, as you can tell, you can push the bearing out, as I showed earlier. Come on. Oh, it's not wanting to come out anymore. There we go. Yeah, so you should not be able to push it out with your hands. In my opinion, uh, that's what's causing me slip in. Here is a brand new OEM one. Ordered it from uh, Majestic Honda. I, I cannot get it to budge at all. 
And then here's the uh, OEM one for the uh, idler pulley. Just to give you a difference between the T1R and the OEM one. Same one for the tensioner pulleys. Looks like the anodized coating wore off on the uh, on the belt tracks. All right. We'll measure these via, I guess we can do grams and ounces. We'll start with the T1R tensioner pulley. 160 grams. Here's the OEM pulley. 316 grams. Sorry for the bump. T1R idler pulley. 202 grams. Sorry for the bump. OEM idler pulley. 418 grams. But um, if these are going to keep going on or going out on me, you know, not if not once, you know, twice a year, it's I would rather have the reliability of the OEM setup. So let's get the OEM ones installed and. Have fun with that. Okay, and we're back to the car. We're gonna install the OEM pulleys. We will start with the idler pulley. Got the whole bearing set up here. Backside washer. And we got the rest. We have the uh, front facing washer. The the plate and the bolt. And then next we got the tensioner. Uh, so it's just the uh, plate and bolt. Actually, this slides on. And we got to spin that way for the uh, tensioner. There's a little too much slack in the belt down there. Uh, there's much less wobble in the in the pulley right now. Uh, granted, it's still kind of a cold start like the other one, but it, you can definitely see the the pulley is not wobbling anymore, um, which is to be expected. So I'll, I'll put some miles on it, and get it warmed up, and see how it's reacting. <laughs> 